Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of my craft room. It's my craft room slash bedroom. I've been cleaning and organizing and getting rid of the things that I no longer need or I know I'm not going to use because we are moving in the new year so it's just going to be easier if I have everything like downsized now and since market season is over it's the perfect opportunity. So if you're interested in seeing how I organize my yarn, stay tuned. This is the first part of my craft room. So it has all the garments that I like to wear that I've made and I just like to keep them on display because it's kind of cool that I've made them and I like wearing them around. So I'll start right here. I made this cute little tank top with this ruffle on the bottom and it's extremely soft. I love this. I'll leave the pattern for all of these items in the description box. So if you want to make your own, you can find the pattern somewhere. The next thing I have is this adorable crocheted hoodie. Um, it has a nice pocket on it. It also has a cowl neck with a hood, so that's really awesome. It's really cozy. It's a dream to wear in the fall and winter. This is the newest item that I've made. It is a cardigan. It's a really long duster cardigan, and I'm obsessed with it. I can't wait to wear it out more because I just finished it like I said. This right here is my own design. It's called my Elvira sweater. It's the chunky sweater. It's kind of ribbed, if you'll see there. It has some slits in the bottom. And then it has a really cute choker, which was super trendy last year, and I think it was still a little bit trendy this year. The next item that I have on this rack is something I've never worn, but it's, I made this a few years ago, and it's just this really cute dress that has a bunch of layers of fabric, and it has like a corseted top part. Then I have this cute tank top. It's crocheted. I like to wear it with high-waisted shorts in the summertime. And then I have this cowl. So it has like this really cute neck that you can also put up around your head if it's really cold. And then it has like, it's just a vest basically. And it's in my favorite mustard color. The next thing I have is this ribbed tank top. It's really cute. I haven't got to wear it yet because I made it at the end of summer. So it's gotten too cold, but it's really cute and it's really soft and squishy. Next I have this cute little Cardi right here. It's just black and it kind of has like a little bit of a lace look. Um, and it's just a cute little throw over, got sleeves right here. And finally on this rack, I keep this dress. It's like a sweater dress. I really, really love this one. Um, it's a cute v-neck. It's perfect for fall, winter. You just throw a cardigan over it with a nice scarf or anything. And it looks so cute, especially with like high socks and boots. All right, and then in this corner, I have this basket full of Malabringo yarn. Um, a yarn shop near me went out of stock and I obviously had to stock up. So I just keep it all in this basket. I haven't had a chance to cake it up or anything. Um, so we're working on that. <laughs> so many pretty colors in here. I have like a variety. If you guys want to see like a video all about them, just let me know. Moving on to right here, I have my books and a little notebook. These are just my crochet and stuff handbooks that I've accumulated over time. And then I have this bunny from Target that holds all of my buttons. Going up here, I just want to show you guys. Half of my Christmas lights are out. These are what we use for our lighting in our apartment because if you've ever been in an apartment before, you know there's no overhead lighting. Also hung this really cute crocheted jellyfish up. Before I move on to the rest of over that shelf, I'm gonna show you down here. I currently have this blanket that I cleaned out of a basket and I'm going to figure out what I wanna do with that because I'm not sure yet. Sweater that I started making and then never finished and then a couple of things that I wanna frog. So this part is still kind of messy. I'm still trying to figure out how I wanna go about it. Over here I have my whiteboards. These are just from the Dollar Tree and I like to use them for like flat lays and stuff for Instagram pictures. And this yarn is still pretty messy. This is the yarn that I don't really use but I keep. These are like my worsted weight acrylic yarns that I use for like cactuses and I use for certain projects that I just don't want to get rid of because I do use them as you can see. I kind of use them for smaller things. This is a shelf of yarn that is kind of miscellaneous. A lot of this yarn is yarn that my husband's picked out that I keep on hand for when he wants me to make him a project. This was for a blanket that I was making, but I don't think I'm going to finish it, so I might be donating that yarn. This is yarn from companies that I've worked with. So I have Hobium yarn and then Darn Good yarn. And this is just some acrylic yarn by Lion Brand. Next, I have these three baskets right here in the center. And these all hold my smaller cotton yarn, so I have a bunch of Lily Sugar and Cream in here. A bunch more cotton in here that I can't even open this drawer. It's ridiculous. And then even more cotton in here. Embarrassingly enough, I have a whole box of cotton in my living room right now. 
moving on to this section of my shelf this is yarn that I love and that I actually use which is why it's closer to the outside where I can get to it easier this is some wool blend lion brand yarn this is discontinued faucets yarn by loops and thread at Michaels and there's an extra little skein there and then these two shelves right here are all lion brand hometown USA it's my favorite chunky acrylic this is some more hobium yarn right here that I hope to use for sweaters in the future and then right here, I just have my rug that I like to use for flat lays. Um, I think I got this from TJ Maxx for like $14. And then I have my tray that is also from TJ Maxx, which I really like. It's just a nice wood one. And then I have some balls of yarn that I haven't put away yet. All right, moving back to the top of my shelf. Um, I just have a candle lit here that my mom got me for Christmas a few years ago. Then right here, I have a binder full of all my patterns and stuff. I like to keep them in a binder because it keeps them handy. I'll either read the pattern from my phone or I'll read the pattern just from here. And I've been liking using the printed patterns more. In this box, I keep all of my tools. Um, this needle just didn't fit and I'm currently using the other needle as a cabling needle. So that's why there's only one. Then I have my yarn winder right here. This yarn winder is just by Loops and Threads and it came from Michaels and it fits perfectly right here. It's super easy to use. And that is that whole side of the room. So it's pretty simple. It's like clean-ish. But we'll move on to this side of the room now. This is my favorite part of my whole yarn area. Um, so starting from the top, these are all prototype projects. Projects that I've made, that I made for patterns or first time projects that I just wanna keep. I need to go through it again because it looks pretty messy. You move down to these three shelves. This is all Lion Brand Thick and Quick, which is heaven. It's my favorite yarn ever. And I have a, two whole boxes in the living room right now full of this yarn. Here is one of the cactuses that I've made. I love my little cactuses. And then here is another one down here. So on this first shelf, I have, this is wheat, fossil, and oatmeal. <laughs> if you can tell, oatmeal is one of my favorites. This shelf has Hudson Bay. Uh, Fisherman, Coney Island, and Mustard. Here we have Fig, Astroland. I can't remember what this one's called. I don't use it very often. Uh, I think this is Wild Strawberry, and then I don't remember what that one's called either. I don't really use pinks too often. I have one black skein, some claret. I have a ton of claret in the living room. Um, some Peacock, don't remember. Navy. This is Alabaster, which is another favorite of mine. If you move down to this shelf, this is all Hometown USA by Lion Brand. Um, I don't know any of the color names really because I don't really look at the color names often, um, but I really like this yarn for certain projects. And then moving down to this shelf, I have some things in the way, but these are where I keep some of my blankets. I have this pretty knit one right here. This is the first blanket I ever made. And then this is my Loki Lani blanket. I'll have the pattern for it down below. Then I have a bag of knitting stuff that I need to put away. I have two of these baskets right here that still need to find a home. This is my crochet double brim beanie. I have a pattern for this also, and I'll have it also in the description box. And then I just have two skeins that didn't fit on my shelf. A memory box that I need to put away. This is a work in progress. So that's sitting in this basket so it's easy to transport. Some stock left over from the season that I need to figure out what I want to do with. And I almost forgot my mannequin is on her off season now, now that craft fairs are over. So she's back into place and I put my uh, knitted sweater dress on her. I love this sweater dress. It's extremely squishy and I was going to write the pattern up for it, but I just haven't got around to it yet. All right, and that's kind of what this side of my room looks like. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the room just because I love this shelf. It just makes me so happy and it's almost like being in a yarn store. I'm going to move on to this side of the room, which is a little bit of a disaster. I haven't quite tackled it yet. We'll start in this shelf right here. Um, this is where I hold like miscellaneous yarns that I like, that I actually use. I can't really open it because I have my TV up here. Sorry for the dust, but it just has a lot of like random yarns in it that I just have a couple skeins each of. This drawer has some of my kaleidoscope yarn. I have a box full of this yarn in the living room that I haven't been able to put away yet. I love this yarn so much. It's by Loops and Thread at Michaels and I'm pretty sure they're discontinuing it. So you better go grab some if you're interested. And lastly, this bottom drawer has all of my scrap yarn, which is why the yarn in the tray at the beginning was still sitting there and not in this drawer because it's packed. 
And then this is yarn that I still need to wind into balls and throw in there. This is stuff that I brought from the living room that I need to put away. It was from a couple projects that I was working on. So this is kind of just like craft tools. It's kind of irrelevant. We'll just skip this and move right on over here. So in this drawer, I keep all of my Instagram props. So I have a couple yards of fabric, um, a couple of like pumpkins, and this really pretty dinosaur planter. This drawer has all of my pom-poms that I have and then like just pom-poms that I can make easily because they're already cut up. And last but not least, this drawer has all of my packing and finishing items. Tape, tags, buttons, uh, more tape, envelopes, stuff to make pom-poms, just everything that I need to prepare and finish my products. I also have this glass headlane here. These are what I use at my shows. I took her out of the bin that she was in after shows uh, because I needed her for something, but now she's just laying here. And last but not least, this is the box that I kind of carry around with me. It has all my embroidery threads. A mess, of course. It's my bag of tools that I use mostly. All right, guys. So that was the tour of my yarn craft room area. I know it was pretty short and sweet, but there's not a lot that goes into it. You kind of just throw yarn on the shelf and call it a day. Anybody that loves yarn as much as me knows that Yarn becomes a mess, and it comes a mess really quickly. I'm glad that craft fair season is finally over so I could finally tackle all of this. I might add some clips here at the end to show you what my living room still looks like. I have a ton of stuff to donate, and I have a ton of yarn sitting in a box that I got from Cyber Monday. So if you want to see that, stay tuned till the end, and I'll add it in. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for not judging me for the dust that I haven't dusted yet. The mess that's still on the floor that I need to finish. But if you guys saw where this started, you would know that it's so much better. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And let me know what you want to see in my next video. See you later. Bye! Okay, you guys, I wasn't lying when I said my living room is a total train wreck. This is all yarn that I'm donating. This is clothes that I'm donating. This right here I'm taking to the women's shelter. It's old stock from last year that I had laying around. I have all these packages that I need to ship on Monday. I have some random things here. Over here, excuse the mess like I said. I have, this is all kaleidoscope, some wooly stick and quick. This is all wooly stick and quick that I have no place for right now. And this is all cotton. I have